Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about PLAR. So PLAR is basically uh, also called as a private line automatic ring down or hot dial as well. So uh, PLAR is basically uh, used in a situation like uh, maybe lift phones or um, you know escalators, etc. So I'll tell you like what exactly it does. So let's say uh, you are going on a lift and all of a sudden you get stuck in between in middle of the floor now as you know right in lift most of the time you will have very 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 low signal on your mobile devices now you're trying to reach someone as an emergency because you're stuck in the middle of the lift and you are unable to come out of the lift right you wanted to reach out to someone maybe some of your colleagues to tell them that you are stuck and can you ask you're asking for help now since you have a low signal on your mobile you are unable to call anyone now you panic you don't know what needs to be done right so in uh, i mean in in such cases uh, it is quite obvious like people will panic right because you don't know when is the next help going to come we don't know whether the people over the um, security or emergency response team they know about the situation that your lift is stuck and you need help right so you you don't know what uh, needs to be done because you have no reachability to the phone now in such cases right so you can have a cisco ip phone uh, installed in the lift right but is it possible that you will remember the, the num ert emergency response team numbers to dial out because you will be obviously firstly panicked secondly it might not come on, on top of your mind because you don't dial that emergency response team's number every now and then or frequently you don't remember the number now since you have a low signal you cannot mail anyone you cannot call anyone now you don't have any you don't remember the number of the emergency response team to dial out you might not remember your colleagues number as well to dial out right so it becomes a little difficult for the people to you know stuck there and you know find out someone for help so in such cases right you can configure uh, this configuration called plar so basically what will happen is as soon as you are stuck on the lift right you can pick up this handset and as soon as you pick this handset right the call will connect to the emergency response team or the operator without even dialing any digits so you don't have to dial any number as soon as you go off hook the call will connect Im immediately so this is some configuration where which is basically applied to do phones or lip phone or any other kind of lines where you need plar configuration to be applied it depending it depends on the use cases right so now what are the required configuration of plar so the plar uh, basically there are a few configuration which you need to add in order to make sure the plar works so the configuration is basically you have to play around with the calling search space and the partition so what you need to do is you need to create one partition and one css so we can name the partition as a plar partition and css is a plar css so which means your plar css will have only plar partition in it it should not have any access to any other partition it should have only access to the plar partition only so that whenever someone is using this css it uses this partition to call dial out right that's the first and the foremost step what you need to do now the next thing is what you need to do is uh, you need to create translation pattern and this translation pattern will have no number associated to it because when you go off hook on your lift phone you don't want to dial any number right it should connect to the emergency response team or the operator without dialing any number right so that is the reason you are going to create a translation pattern with no number the next thing what you need to do is you need to associate the plar partition which you created above with translation pattern with no number so once you associate this you have to associate internal css in this translation pattern so that the reason why we are associating internal css is because you want anyone to pick up the handset 
the call should connect to the emergency response team and emergency response team may be in will be in mostly internal uh, partitions so which means the internal css will have access to the internal partitions which can dial out the emergency response team so which means as soon as this guy with the plar css goes off hook it will start triggering it will start trigger the translation pad in the translation pattern with no number which will be in plar partition because this user is having a plar css is having access to plar partition and this plar partition will be having associated with a internal css and this internal css will have access to emergency response teams number so which means it will start dialing the number 10002 immediately because we have configured this in call party transformation mask this number right so let's see the scenario here call flow so the call flow you have a, we have a number called 50001 and 50001 is an internal partition in plar css so as soon as this guy goes off hook it will check this plar css or assign on this phone will check will be having access to plar partition only and since it is having access to plar partition only it is going to hit that blank translation pattern which you created here which will be in plar partition and it will you will be assigning internal css on the translation pattern this internal css will have access to 10002 partition and you are basically calling up 10002 number and you are putting this number in call party transformation mask in the translation pattern so that whenever this blank translation pattern is hit the call will immediately go to 10002 and start ringing the emergency response team and then the call can be established between this 50001 and 10002 this is how exactly the plar works plus plar works with the analog gateways as well and uh, ip to ip as well so before i go and configure the plar right so here is my uh, blog which i have written long back and here you can see like i have written an article on configuring cisco cocm hot dial or plar so you can refer to this configuration here and then you can do your required configuration otherwise you can definitely watch this video and uh, configure uh, by following the video right i'll put this a link on the description so that you have access to this blog and then you can refer the configuration so let's go to the partition here so what we'll do is first and the foremost what we are going to do is we are going to create one partition and then one css let's do that go to the partition click on add new in this partition i'm going to enter the name as plar underscore partition okay click on save so if you see here plar partition is created right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to class of control add a css calling search space click on add new in this i'm going to add as plar underscore css put a description if you want uh, but this is lab i am not going to put a description for now i'll associate plar partition to this css okay so what we have done just now we have associated this plar partition inside this css so we created plar css plar partition and associated this plar partition in the plar css that's the first step that what we need to do the next step what we need to do is go to this phone and then associate plar css on this phone so that this lib phone is having access to the plar partition i'll go to the device phone and this is my lib phone at this moment which i am uh, taking as an example i'll go to this phone go to this line 1 and then in the calling search space right i change this to plar css and save the configuration so right now the next step i change the phone css to plar css so now the next third step what i need to do is i need to create a translation pattern come here in the call routing translation pattern and then click on add new and 
in this translation pattern section right you don't enter anything not even a bang just keep it as a blank and in the partition you have to put it prior partition and description if you want to put you can put maybe um, P L E R 10,002 lift 50 so maybe any any description that makes sense to you right so maybe I'll put PLAR from uh, 50,001 to 10,002 this is what I'm doing in the conversion here just a description which makes sense to you in the CSS I'm going to put as internal CSS so which means this particular uh, translation pattern has access to this number partition right so that is the reason I'm associating internal CSS I'll uncheck this provide outside dial tone and I'll make sure like urgent priority is checked I'm going I'm going to make sure like this urgent priority is checked I'm not going to remove that and in the call party transformation mask I need to put this 10,002 right so which means whenever this translation pattern is getting hit it is going to use this calling search space to dial 10002 number because 10002 number is accessible from this calling search space i'm going to save the configuration now so to come back what we have done we have created a css we have created a partition associated this partition in the css next thing we went to this phone associated plar css on this phone right and then created a translation pattern with a no number partition as plar underscore prt css as internal css and call party transform mask as 10002 so which means if this guy goes off hook it is going to immediately contact this translation pattern which is having access to the internal css and dials out 10002 automatically let's test it out so on the left hand side i have a lift phone which is acting uh, which is cipc acting as a lift phone and on the right hand side i have an operator phone or emergency response team phone so as soon as i go off hook here it should connect to 10002 without even dialing a number so let's do that i'll go off hook for now you see i went off hook i didn't dial any number the call started ringing on 10002 I, I entered enter the, the call. call. The, the call, call is connected, connected between zero to four. Alright, this is exactly how the PLAR works. So you don't have to dial a number. The call can connect immediately without dialing the number. Le I wanted to show you how does the DNA works here in case of PLAR. I go to the DNA. And in the analysis, I go back to the analysis and then the phone. And I choose my leaf phone here to do a DNA and I selected the line first in the dial digit section right you don't have to put any number it has to be blank because you are testing PLAR and then do analysis something went wrong I'll do it again do analysis so it says the dial number is empty DNA will analyze it as a translation pattern for PLAR functionality. That's exactly what we are doing. We'll click on OK. Now, as soon as I expand this, it says calling party number is 50001, which is an internal partition and in PLAR CSS. And the match result is route this pattern. And the match pattern is 10002, which is an internal partition. So basically, which means as soon as you pick this phone, the call will connect to 10002 and here is exactly the translation pattern looks like so basically when you go off hook it is going to hit this translation pattern with an uh, with no number which is in PLAR partition and the match is going to be 10002 so it connects to 10002 as part of call party transformation here and this 10002 is basically a directory number which is in internal partition right and the call connects to the device so this is how exactly PLAR works. Uh, feel free uh, to watch this video and also go through the web article 
and let me know if you have any feedback or comments uh, so that I can help you if you have a, if there is any queries. All right. Thank you for watching.